I'm, I'm, I'm in a similar situation here. I cannot imagine that playing a, a floaty, somewhat short-range character into Pyramithra is going to be all that great of a time, but I wouldn't have thought that Yoshi into uh, Minecraft Steve would have been a great time, yet Zerus still able to pull that set out, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Life comes at you fast, my friend. It comes at you real fast. And speaking of, it is 48% already. Zris. Fantastic stuff, but Castle will fire back and perhaps even more ferociously, 56% very quickly. Uh, it's like both of these players are playing single player games at the moment, just taking turns whacking each other. Yeah, you know, there's a uh, there's a, a common quote. Oh, wow, oh. finding the down air off of that into the up smash. I was gonna say there's a there's a common uh, a methodology, a, a philosophy of Smash Brothers that says that Smash Brothers is in fact a turn based game. Mm. Uh, you can try to do things when it's not your turn, but if you do things at the moment that it's not your turn, you're just gonna take more damage for it and lose even more. Uh, Castle though doing significantly more with their turn so far. Absolutely, and you know a lot of that is the character to a certain extent i mean that combo was just ridiculous and i i don't think that zris saw it coming either yeah and there was it felt like zris got a similar oh, oh wow oh. Like block set up those wrists striking right back and only at like 50 percent not by any means a massive deficit but castle looking to rack that deficit up even more these aerials are so difficult to approach as yoshi Off the edge with the egg. I, I like it. A little bit of efficiency there. Ooh, just about fading it. That spacing was perfect. Just out of it ground. really was. Oh. Still living. And back on stage there. Almost getting the shield spike. Speaking of, but no. Both will live. Wow. Oh. Dear Lord, that move has some knockback. Yeah, and, but great DI from Driss to survive. It's been great DI for this, the last 30 seconds from Driss, but no amount of DI is going to save Yoshi from that castle. Finally finding the savage hit that takes the stock after three or four of them in a row. And now we see the Mithra coming out too to rack up those combos and rack that percentage up. Well... We're going to see... Oh, lovely combo again. Ending with the F smash. Yoshi's got moves too. We're almost off the top there. This is not a great start. 60% turns into 72 and center stage for the Pyra who side B comboing. Okay, nothing that comes after, but this is still just a dominant position right now for the Pyra. Yeah, and Zeris is just trying to find a way out of this ledge trap situation, but Castle's been holding it down so well, covering the limited options that Zeris has as Yoshi on the way back to the ledge there, and it uh, didn't leave Zeris a lot of options. Now we have a chance, though, to play a little bit of neutral, and Zeris is getting a couple of chips in here and there. That might be enough. We'll have to see. But it's a pretty big deficit to come back from. You are not wrong. 110% the difference. And there's that creativity you were talking about too, varying up the egg spacings and timings. Slow one to just provide a wall and make the movement inward difficult. Now these faster ones, Ooh. even setting it up out of the egg lay. But it, it, it's any hit is going to finish him at this point. The dare almost bounced him off and it will be a trade and Zris lives. Oh, but no, not for long. Time. Wow. Ended up being closer than I had imagined. And I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta applaud Zris for the creativity there. We saw a lot of playstyle adaptation just over the course of that game one, going from finding, going from a, a relatively rushed down approach, trying to get inside that sword range and just rack up damage with those quicker buttons, to playing more of a bait and punish kind of style. Castle starting to slow the game down after that, play a little safer, and then transitioning into this projectile based zoning with varying the egg timings. I mean, just so much change in the gameplay just over one game. Yeah, really, really nice from them. Uh, I liked it a lot, and I think that my heart, you know, almost made some sense going for Zerus. Uh, still, the game goes the way of Castle, and it sort of feels 
like what they were doing was a little bit more conventional. It's what we've seen from them already, but there's a reason they're in losers finals, and that is because they are rather formidable. And their game plan, their plan A, they still get to use it because it hasn't failed yet versus Riss. Well, and you know, that is that is the top tier privilege for you in a nutshell, and that is that you generally get to play your straightforward game plan regardless of the matchup. That's why you're a top tier. You don't generally have to uh, do anything too crazy and out of the way to make it work, but that's the thing the top tiers always win. And uh, Yoshi, as Rich is showing, Yoshi's got a lot of options that can be utilized to deal with that game plan. Absolutely. We're going to see a bit of Mithra. It feels like for the first time in a little while. You know, I, I kind of don't blame Castle for the Mithra choice. It kind of makes sense to me because we did see that in the neutral, Chris is very capable of just forcing a, a missed text oh. situation off of something and taking a stock. Almost happening right there as I say it too. Yeah, that was very nice indeed from Zris, who's absolutely making this competitive almost with the back air. A couple of more percent and it would have killed Great DI once again out of Castle, though, who is really making Zris work for it. He's been on a high percent for a long time, but not giving away a huge opening in Castle now. Able to get the oh. stock himself? Chris almost got through that. You can see the thought process. The double jump armor almost covered the full path through that, but it Ooh. wore off on the descent, and that is why Chris got hit and ended up taking that stock. Chris is just firing right back and looking for something big oh. that missed prominence revolt the second time around. Just a little too grave of a mistake to survive. Yeah, that is the thing. Pyra has a lot of end lag on a lot of these moves, and the punishment. Uh, it's pretty significant. Side B now coming in looking for the combo. Zris just about managed to evade the dangerous stuff, but no, that's going to be at the edge. And quite the hit in Dig 92%. They've got to work real hard to get back into this one. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, once that opening is there, I mean, Zris seems to be running away with opening so far today, so it's not outside of the realm of the possibility, but Castle playing so solid and just zoning off space with those forward airs, with the down airs, mm. and then punishing to get up on grab with grab as well. Driss just running out of options, that's another stock on. Yep, uh, and you don't want to be going down 2-0 in this set either, and that could well be what Zris is looking at as Castle. As I, I, I feel switched into a slightly different gear here. And is playing oh, that a little bit cleaner. That was looking to be a big punish there, but Foresight able to bail Castle out of it. That is oh, uh, one of those crazy. witch time like dodge mechanics where you dodge and you're a little too early or a little too late, but it lets you slip out of it regardless and even get a bigger punish than you would have with a regular dodge. And with the dare, but I feel looking a little bit desperate right now, Isris. Just throwing out some randy hitboxes and not going to be getting lucky Castle 2 0. Yeah, looking a lot more convincing here for Castle in this game, too. And uh, just there, that was a little bit more what we were expecting the matchup to look like going into it. Just a lot of difficulty for Zerus to navigate through. I mean, Pyra can play very, very safe against characters that don't have super high horizontal movement speeds just mm. because of how much space that, that the forward air and the down air wall off and how active they are. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just struggling to, to see the weakness, really. Uh, and, of course, you can change up that pace. We talked earlier um, when Castle was actually defeated by Anality in that uh, winner's finals where we see the switch to Terry, and it's not necessarily that the Casio wasn't a decent pick, but just able to change that momentum change the dynamic that little bit uh, and you've sort of got that luxury in the pyro and the mithra being the one character um so we saw a lot of more mithra there and that makes it so hard for Zeris, who's already climbing uphill yeah yeah having to constantly adapt on the fly to a different set of tools different set of frame data can be very mentally taxing but a here for game three 
little more wide open, less platform to deal with. It probably works out in Zerus's favor uh, to be able to do juggles, and the landing punishes have been a big part of Zerus's success when it happens in this matchup. But the question is, is it enough? So far, Castle just running away with this first stock there, just hitting aerial after aerial and just swatting Zerus out of the air. Yeah, we'll see Zerus, so uh, we'll punish with a dare, but that's about it. Okay, combo opportunity here now, and yeah, gets a lot of percent up till as well. Keeps it going. Castle Boat able to get in with the grab off stage now. And I feel that Yoshi being off stage is way. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Castle? Wow. Off the top, but I don't even want to remember what percent because I'm going to be sad. That was so high up off the ground. I mean, that was the full height of both jumps there to make that last up air. Zeris is trying to find this edge guard though. That is one of the few downsides to this character is that their recovery is a little on the exploitable side. They're a little bit vulnerable when they have to make those recoveries because they're, they're linear. Uh, they're oh. not the fastest. Oh my, that egg throw. Wow, that was the perfect spot to cover that. Nah, out of shield. What a move. Can't hit the feather. How is Riz playing these eggs so perfectly off stage? The ground pound ultimately being what takes the stock on stage, but just uh, keeping that pressure and keeping that edge guard situation going by just always having just the right trajectory. Yeah, controlling that space, limiting the options, and well, it makes things more complicated, but Castle, I feel like when the game is simple is when things are going his way. Just walking in, great hitboxes, thrown out at the right time. The devastating effect. Yeah, and it's a lot of... Oh, oh that was almost a spike. There's Riss out for blood right now. Oh, playing exceptionally well. But up against a little bit of a wall right now. This castle does get an opening, unable to convert. On the upside, you're less likely to... Oh, no, you saved him! No. Oh, he... Castle was dead on that stock. There was not enough distance to make it back, but the spike gave them an opportunity to tech the wall. You know, Chris has got to be kicking themselves for that one. We tech those. Apparently. I wouldn't. You know, sometimes you get hit and you just you just press the tech button just in case. You never know. At the edge once again, you gotta feel bad for Zeris right now. In a very difficult situation. And this could have been so different had it not been for that extra forward air. This could have been a stock up, but instead it's going to be the 3-0 coming out from Castle. Take the set and advance on to... Uh, wait, no, we're on Grand Finals they're advancing to, correct? They yeah. certainly are. Wow. And uh, there we go. It's going to be a rematch from Winner's Finals. Anality awaits with, I believe, one set.